Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. It's Wednesday the 14th of June and I'm feeling a bit better today. I was feeling quite sad yesterday. And speaking of sad, there's a word I'd like to talk about today. That is emo. One of the things that I think is really interesting about language is that it is changing all the time. So there's always new interesting words to learn. And one place you can learn new words is on the internet. And a word that I came across recently that I didn't understand was emo. So, what is emo? Well, at first I thought it must be some kind of character like an Ewok of Star Wars. But it's not. And it also has nothing to do with Elmo of Sesame Street, even though the spelling is almost the same. From reading the comments under the videos about emo on YouTube, it seems that people use the word emo to mean different things, and people also argue about what exactly it does mean. So I had a look on Wikipedia, and from what I gather, there seems to be three main meanings for the word emo. Number one is a kind of music. Number two is about a scene. So this is not necessarily related to number one, the music. This is about a group of people who dress in a particular way and have a particular attitude. And number three as an insult. According to Wikipedia, it's used as a form of derogatory insult, especially towards those who appear emotionally unstable. And it tends to be used as a general insult, even when it is not directly applicable. Phrases such as Cheer up, emo kid, are used frequently as a quick brush off in this context. In terms of grammar, Wikipedia says emo may be used as a noun to describe a member of the emo scene or as an adjective to describe a certain style of fashion or music. So, now let's look at some real life examples of how people use the word emo. These are taken directly off the internet, off the comments from YouTube. Do emo people really whine like this? I don't know that much about the emo scene. This girl is not emo, she's manic depressive. Bashing on emos is probably even a larger trend than being emo itself. There is no such thing as emo. Emos are whiny freaks who cut their hair so it goes over one eye. Emo is a derogatory term. Emo is not a derogatory term. The people who made this don't know what emo is. So if you're still a bit confused about how to use the word emo, don't worry because I'm kind of confused too. But maybe you could just try using the word emo um, randomly thrown in with the sentences that you already know. For example, um, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You could say, hi emo, how emo are you? I'm good emo, how emo are you? Or I was thinking another thing that you could do is just replace words or phrases that you already know. Replace them completely with emo, giving emo a completely new meaning. For example, I think so too. Miyamoto is really sexy. Emo. Today's news has nothing to do with emo. It's about robbing a post office. And the conversation is a kind of random one about robbing a bank. And question answer today is about money. Kia ora, this is Dick News. A man robbed a post office in Tokyo last month, but then he felt guilty. So he returned the money with interest, then he turned himself in. The 33 year old man said he really needed some money, so he robbed a post office. He stole 340,000 yen. Then, after the robbery, he was in a traffic accident and got money for compensation. Then he regretted robbing the post office. So he went back wearing a mask and returned the money with an extra 10,000 yen. But he still felt guilty. So he turned himself in at a police station. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 14th of June. Kia ora. Hey Sarah, if you're going to rob a bank, how would you do it? Rob a bank. 
Yeah. How would you do it? Yeah, I know, but hypothetically speaking. Yeah? If I was gonna what? If I was gonna rob a bank. Um, well, I wouldn't rob a bank. Okay, hypothetically speaking. Um, if I was gonna rob a bank, what would I do? Hmm, well, I don't like guns, so I don't want to use a gun. Maybe I could just ask for it nicely. Can you please give me some money? But then, I guess I wouldn't be robbing, would I? I know. I'll wear my doggy and go in there and make some strange sounds. How much was it? It was a hundred yen. How much was it? It was 200 yen. How much was it? It was 300 yen. How much was it? It was 400 yen. How much was it? It was 500 yen. Emo.